Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rechach Wadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in Hada Sham name, Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son, meaning He saves, He delivers, Rechach Wadash. Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles, and others, great most, and never well, peace and blessings to the elected of the nation of Israel. Back at it again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, Lord Wounds Lessons, Edifying the Brother Otto Juan from Great Mills from West Palm Beach, and just getting straight to it through the spirit. I was uh, practicing my Spanish on this app called Duolingo, you know, and it's a pretty solid app, okay? And I've had this app, you know, on and off for a couple years now, all right? Man, um, I, I, I wanted to brush up on my Spanish because. You know, it's profitable, especially uh, depending on where you live. You know, over here where Jake's stay at in Babylon, you got a lot of Northern Kingdom, all right? Northern Kingdom being, you know, so-called Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, right? And the um, point is, you got a lot of Latin tribes over here by where I stay. And, um, you know, just for multiple reasons, Jake want to uh, learn Spanish. Okay. Now at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he can give us the power to be able to uh, speak another language in the time of Jacob's trouble. It'd be nothing for the Lord to tap into our spirit and you know speak with the gift of tongues. Okay, and you can read about that in Acts the second chapter, how you know the great rushing of the wind came upon them, and then every man started speaking in the tongue of his own nation, and they were all able to understand each other. Okay. And that's another scripture backing up how the Israelites were scattered abroad. You know, so it's nothing for the Lord. And, and, you know, I believe through the spirit a lot of, I mean, you already see it now happening, but I believe through the spirit a lot more Northern Kingdom are going to be crossing the borders, you know, in these times to come. Okay. And uh, especially like people from like Venezuela, you know, which is of the tribe of Asher. Okay. And, you know, they're going to be crossing over to the border. You got people from Central America, you know, Central America being Zebulon, people of Mexico, Mexico being Issachar, you know. So on and so forth. NK as is, is, is a whole, I'm sure, is going to be crossing the borders a lot in these times to come. Uh, especially deliberately on the behest of the Heavenly Father. Meaning the Heavenly Father is purposely going to do this. But also, he's going to put the Spirit on Esau to allow this for whatever plan Esau got set up on the left-hand side. And, you know, America is going to be the great scene of future judgment. So a lot of Jake might try to come to America thinking they got better opportunities. But come to find out that this was the last place on earth they'd want to be. But anyways, you know, I believe through the spirit that there's going to be a lot of Northern Kingdom here in America during the time of Jacob's Trouble. Because I even had a dream one time where uh, it was Jacob's Trouble and, you know, we were going through the wilderness and I ran into a group of uh, Northern Kingdom. Uh, they might have been Issacharites from the looks of it in the dream, you know. But nonetheless, uh, it was like three, three to two. I think it was three, though. Northern Kingdom brothers and one uh, Northern Kingdom sister, right? And one of the brothers, of course, that was his wife. And like when I walked up, he was like mate guarding his wife, you know? So that's how you know Jake gonna be on edge in these times to come. All right, he was mate guarding his wife, but I was coming peaceably and I was talking to one of the other Northern Kingdom brothers and I, and I had a honey bun in the dream and I was giving him the honey bun. You know, I did a lesson on this before about this dream and that, and that honey bun through the spirit, you know, could could potentially mean uh the scriptures the truth because the truth is likened unto bread and it's also likened unto and wisdom is also likened unto honey you know but nonetheless uh i was talking to them in the dream and i was able to you know they were able to understand me and i was able to understand them you know what i'm saying and i gave them the honey bun and i just kept it pushing i was on my way all right but nonetheless getting to the topic at hand i'm on the app duolingo and I'm just practicing, you know, another day practicing my Spanish, right? And then I see this, right? Because I'm looking at the words and some of the words I don't recognize. So I tap on them to learn what it's saying, you know, with all that getting, get understanding, right? So it says, es mi luna de mil, right? And I wasn't sure what luna de mil was, meant. And so I clicked on the word and she's, the woman is saying, yes, it's my honeymoon, okay? So the taxi driver, he says, ah, Donde esta su esposo? So he's saying, hey, oh, oh, 
he's saying, oh, okay, where is your husband, right? Supposedly, you're supposed to be on a honeymoon. And then this bitch replies back, no tengo, no tengo esposo, meaning I, I don't have a husband. All right, no tengo, meaning I don't have. Tengo, meaning to have, you know, first person. So I have, or, you know, no tengo, meaning I don't have. Esposo, esposo meaning a, a husband, right? And like the Apostle Paul said, he espoused, espoused you to one husband, right? A spouse, so a esposo, a spouse. I can see the connection with the word, right? But uh, not to keep rambling. Tengo una esposa muy difícil, muy difícil. You know, it's like for my mispronunciation. But she's basically saying she's got a wife that's very difficult, bro. And when I read this shit, I said, man, what the fuck? You know, I was vexed when I read this, man. I said, ain't no fucking way. I said, Duolingo not even safe, man. Esau want to defile everything, man. It's like, damn, Jake can't even practice Spanish without some defiled shit, man. And even though Spanish isn't the mother language of our northern kingdom brothers and sisters, all right, the, the Hebrew is because they are Hebrew Israelites. That's what they are, okay? No matter what Esau tries to label you as, yeah, you might think you're Guatemalan. You might think you're Panamanian. You might think you're Colombian, right? But you're an Israelite, okay? However, Spanish is a language of the oppressors, of the conquistadors, man. Okay? But nonetheless, Jake speaks Spanish. We get it. Just like how we over here in Babylon, we speak English, right? We get it. Point of the matter is, Jake can't even practice Spanish without fucking vexation, man. And I was like, damn. You know, Esau is really pushing this agenda of the alphabet community, man. And, it, and it's absolute wickedness. So it's like, man, it's... You see why Yahweh is getting ready to destroy this place, man. Okay? So she said, she... So she said, she's not wanting to go to Madrid with me. That's what she said. Ella, meaning she. Ella. They say it in Spanish like that. Ella no quiere, meaning she doesn't want. No quiere. Quiere meaning uh, to want, right? Um, she doesn't want ir, ir meaning to go a is to and Madrid you know which is a, a, a city in Spain conmigo conmigo means with me alright so I was like golly man so then the app deliberately asks you what is she saying what is Anna saying right and here are the options. Forgot to pack her sunscreen. Is already in Madrid. Doesn't want to go to Madrid with her. So they're emphasizing the fact that so-called Anna has a, a, a wife, man. So-called. That's wickedness, man. And I got one scripture to back this up. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever on one. And that's exactly what these people do, man. When it comes to what Yahweh Shai got to say... They, that's the last thing they want to hear. But they all worship the creature more than the creator. It's backwards, man. Verse 26, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And that's exactly what it is. They're teaching that which is against nature. See, it's against nature for a woman to be sexually attracted to another woman. That's fucking wicked, man. That is absolute wickedness, man. Okay, and all you women who like women in a sexually lustful way, you will be destroyed by the Lord. Okay, you will be destroyed. If you do not repent, you will be destroyed. And for all you men that like other men in a sexually attracted, lustful way, if you do not repent, you will be destroyed. Man, this is not a fucking debate, man. Romans 1 and 26, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. That's a vile affection. Woman on woman, man on man. That's a vile affection, man. And you and you demons know it's not right. You know it's not right. That's why you try to force everybody to, to be okay with your wickedness. Because you know deep down inside in your spirit, you know you're not fucking right. 
You know you're not right, man. And you know you got demons on you. You know you ain't living life right, man. That's why your Habash is judging you damn sodomites with so many damn diseases. Because of your wickedness, man. And you niggas who want to play the fence, act like, you, act like you're a heterosexual, but on a late night, you, you sliding on a tranny or you sliding on a man and you bringing that disease back to your woman. Man, death to you niggas, man. Death to you niggas, man. Okay? Death to you niggas. You niggas ain't right either, man. Trying to act like you ain't living that life, man. You ain't fucking right, man. Niggas ain't right, man. How about Shemeshai gave you up unto vile affections? He let them demons get the best of you because you niggas don't love the Lord. So he gave you over to your lusts, man. For this cause, the most I gave them even up, uh, the most I gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, meaning what? Men want to go have sex with other men instead of doing it the way that creation was supposed to be. Which is a man being inserted into a woman. That's the way it's set up. It makes perfect fucking sense. It's not rocket science, man. That's the way the Lord intended it to be. For a man to penetrate a woman. Not for a man to penetrate another fucking man. That's wickedness, man. That is fucking wickedness, man. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts, one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Meaning you're going to get a just recompense, a just judgment for your wickedness. You're going to get an appropriate judgment for your wickedness, and that appropriate judgment is death and pain, lest you repent. Okay, verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah, that's a reprobate mind. That's a mind void of judgment to think that something like that is okay to do. To do those things which are not convenient, right? Like I got a damn co-worker who fucking nails is painted black, man. Demons, man. Fucking demons, man. And I cannot wait till y'all about to start laying you demons out and just rid the earth of you evil spirits man because the earth is tired of you niggas too man the earth over here gotta inhabit you wicked niggas man the earth is crying out to the lord as well the earth is tired of you niggas man it's time for the lord to start taking niggas away from the earth man and he's going to do that in due season you niggas think you could just live your life living like this and just because the fashion of this world is predicating to your wickedness that you're doing something right you're not fucking doing something right the heavenly father is against you and deep down inside in your spirit you fucking know it romans 1 and 28 says and even as they did not like to retain your habash in their knowledge the most i gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, and that's backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. And you know what's crazy? The funny thing is, sodomites have all those different demons within them. They have the spirit of being unrighteous. They have the spirit of fornication. They have the spirit of wickedness. They have the demon of covetousness. They have the demon of maliciousness. They have the demon of being envious. They have a demon of murder, man. It's a well-known fact that sodomites are the most gruesome murderers, man. Any killing from the hand of a sodomite is always gruesome. It's always the most violent killings. That's a, that's a statistic, man. Debate. Deceit. These these sodomites are deceitful as hell. Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High. They they hate the Lord in their actions. If you love the Lord, you're supposed to keep commandments, but they they disobey the commandments willingly, and they take pleasure in disobeying the commandments of the Lord. That's fucking hate, man. All right, despiteful, proud, and that's exactly what they are. Don't they call it Pride Pride Month? It is fucking pride. Okay. Boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. And a lot of you sodomites are disobedient to your fucking parents. Do you think your parents truly want to see their child a fucking sodomite? 
Do you think that's an honorable thing in their eyes? And if a parent is honored in that, that parent has is, is failed as a parent. You're a failure. If you're a parent and you're all right with your child being a sodomite, you are a failure. Okay? Just know you failed as a parent, man. Okay? But just going down to verse 32, because you sodomites, you, you got all these spirits on you. All right, it says, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, and most of you sodomites do know the judgment of the Most High. Most of you sodomites do know that you're going to be judged for being a sodomite. Because don't think the Lord is not going to just let you do that shit without reproving you. It says that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And that's why you niggas going to die. That's exactly why you niggas gonna die. So the point has been made. Lord Wins lesson was that fine. I'm not telling brothers to be over righteous and not have the app Duolingo anymore. But just know this fucking world gotta go. This world gotta go. Okay, and if it's and if it's in your spirit to delete the app, by all means, delete the app. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. But at the end of the day, use the world without abusing it. You know what I'm saying? But fuck this place, man. Fuck this place. Can't say it enough, man. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles, and others, great most, and ever well, peace and blessings to the elect nation of Israel. Shalom, Ababa, Kwame, Asherah.